Imagine walking into your local card store, looking at the shelves and seeing boxes full of base set booster packs, jungle packs, rocket packs, base set two packs, reaching in and getting any pack you want for $3.99. Yes, that was the glorious 90s and the early 2000s. However, I want to make that a reality once again. What is up, Hard Squad, and welcome to what is going to be the start of an, an amazing journey. And you saw the title, you saw what I just said. I am going to be recreating an original card store from the 90s. I will be selling base set packs, jungle packs, and lots of other surprises for the original retail cost of what I believe it was like $3.99 or $4.99. But that being said, I'm really, really happy to announce it via this first video. Now, I did kind of announce it with a little warm announcement on my socials a couple weeks ago. There was, of course, lots and lots of interest. And before actually just coming up with the video and doing it, there is so much logistics to making this happen. And I felt, one, it was only right to do a video like this to eventually not only showcase some of the items that will be in the store, but I wanted to also do a little heart to heart and get your advice from people across the world on how to make this fair and legitimate for as many people as possible. Because I will go ahead and say it, my idea is to actually recreate in what will probably be like a weekend or so, how long it'll be up, but like a pop-up shop in a way, of an actual brick and mortar collectible card store where every single thing on the inside of the store will be from the 90s or at least a recreation. Like my Pokemon Snap Machine will be there where you will actually be able to print just like in Blockbusters from before. Now I know that wasn't actually in like card stores, but I wanna make it as nostalgic from that time as possible. The posters on the wall, I'll have of course all the sealed Pokemon packs you can want. And they're gonna be all from my personal collection. They're gonna be all from what I've collected and still gonna be collected leading up to the store. And why am I doing such a crazy thing where base set packs are going for like $1,000 right now and I'm gonna be selling them for $3.99? Well, I kind of see myself as like the ambassador for Pokemon where I just want to continue to set a proper example for not just the Pokemon community, but for the entire world to just, when you're so passionate about something, to just keep on always giving back to the world. and. My main thing out of this is because I'm not making any money from this, but it's going to be about seeing the joy, seeing the happiness of a father and son walking into the store and seeing the selection and opening up the packs because there are, there are going to be so many ways to try to make this fair. Like most likely going to be limiting everybody to just like two packs, whatever packs you want. That's it. I Oh, there's so much involved with this. And... Seeing the joy of a father and son, like I was saying, because that was like how I was walking into the store when I was younger. That is going to bring the biggest smile to my face. Being able to give others a chance to open up vintage booster packs. These vintage booster packs, which I'll be opening up later in the same video. I want to give everyone else out there in the world at least a chance to be able to open up these packs that I've been so graciously uh, grateful to be opened for y'all from on this channel. So that's kind of like the main reason why I'm doing this. So one of the big questions is, do you want me to do like a documentation process where I'm keeping y'all updated either via the channel, via updates or my socials most of the time, or do you want it where occasional updates? Please, please, please let me know in the comment section your thoughts on that as far as how often you like to be updated on this. Second, the most important question is, I'd love to know your advice on making this fair. Now, the main thing why I'm doing this is like I said, I wanna see the reaction. I wanna get that nostalgic fix of myself. One of my dreams was to create a store and this is allowing me to do something like that. But it's an actual physical location, brick and mortar store, likely gonna be in Texas, because that's where I'm from. And 
I want people to actually be able to go inside the store and be transported like as close to a time machine as possible to the 90s, to an original card store that was selling these packs, these vintage packs. And that's why I really want to do this. So for those that are across the world, I will obviously, this will be open to everybody, absolutely everybody. Now this is where your input comes in. I obviously gonna have to do some sort of like golden ticket type of thing where people will be able to be able to get a chance to get a golden ticket. And I'm talking like lots of people because I want to have lots of packs there. But uh, just to make it fair for everybody and then they'll be able to just, you know, fly in from wherever they're from. Because when you're, you know, for this type of opportunity, for this type of chance, um, selling these packs that are, you know, worth this much, I mean, it's a really, really big opportunity. And that's how I feel would be the best way. Um, now, people are going to be asking me, you have to sell these online. Well, that kind of defeats the entire purpose of me doing this. It's all about that nostalgia for making the store and, you know, reveling in that. I will be doing a video, of course, of the whole experience. I will also be um, maybe, maybe, based on your input, maybe doing some sort of process where, you know, some people online that can't make the trip may at least get a chance to get what you are about to see. I want to keep it open. I want to keep it fair. I will not be able to make everybody happy. But then again, no one else is doing something like this. So I would just be grateful in that in that first place. So with that being said, I thank y'all so much. Some of the stuff, you want to see some of the stuff that's going to be in it. Well, you saw these semi recently. Why I was showing these off is because I'm proud of them. I'm proud that this, an original base set blister booster case from Wizards of the Coast. No, you can't get these anymore, but this is the original actual box that these came in and i'm very very proud to have a bunch of these that i did buy all of them and i will be using them in the store and let's take a look at some of the stuff so these these are original base set booster packs and they are in the actual blisters uh, beautiful ones mint condition plastic everything on these is completely mint condition and uh, just because, let's go ahead and get out all of... Ah, there we go. Look at that. The Charizard, the Blastoise. These are going to be hung on shelves just like this, or maybe even just stack like this on a cabinet. I don't know. What I do know is, imagine an entire shelf just stacked with these. Being sold for $3.99. No, I will not put the price sticker on these. <laughs> I'll leave it as is. So this is an entire 24 count. That's what was in these boxes. I have plenty of these boxes that I will be personally donating from my collection. I need to make sure I don't. All right, good. And uh, these will be in the store. Next up, you may have seen this recently on my socials. Boom! An original box of uh, 72 long stem jungle booster packs from Wizards of the Coast. The original box that they came in. I'm not going to take them all out, but I will show you. Look at that. It's completely filled with jungle booster packs. These are the ones that would be on the shelves hung like this. Now for these, obviously it's like I can push those out and hang them on the shelves. But I'm also like, I don't know, like they look beautiful like that. But then again, it's going to be up to y'all to, you know, open them there or keep them. I don't know. That's going to be some of the logistics that I'm going to be deciding. Um, we're almost getting to the vintage opening, but this is such big news that I just want to keep on showing you some of the stuff. I'll have some uh, base set two booster packs, long stem ones. I'll be opening up sealed boxes of base set two and uh, selling all of those packs as well. This is the original base set too. So these didn't come in a box like this. This is just how I wanted to show it for video purposes. But this is original base set two box. So those will be there. There's gonna be lots of other surprises. I'm talking first edition rocket packs, more stuff. I'll have these, which I'll be opening up today. Uh, gym challenge booster packs. These are just some of the long stem packs that I'll be opening up just for my collection. And then one final question. For all you Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG collectors out there, would you like me to sell original Yu-Gi-Oh! products like this tin? This beautiful, beautiful tin. Please, please, please let me know. I also have this guy, the Yu-Gi-Oh! one with Dark Magician. 
And um, I, ne I like I collect it, but not too much. Played a little bit older, but uh, didn't get too much into it. But these are the original tins and come with some nice packs. So I thought, you know, if there's uh, enough wants, I can add some of those to the store. But, but now we are getting to some uh, vintage packs. We'll see how many we can get through, hopefully all of them. But if you can, please, 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 if you like this idea, leave a like, let's get, let's get this video to 50,000 likes. Because uh, it'll help me show that this is an idea that you do want, but I don't know who would not want this idea. It's absolutely insane. And there will be measures in place, you know, to fight against people that are going to want to resell and all this other stuff. But for the most part, um, thank you all so much. Please consider subscribing to the community. And let's begin with this. A Gym Challenge Booster Pack. Blaine's Charizard and Blaine's Arcanine are the top cards that I would like to pull. Have not pulled it from my set, the Blaine's Charizard from these sets of packs. There's also a corrected or fixed Blaine's Charizard from these packs that I believe this set may hold. So, getting everything. The store, the beginning, the announcement of the store, and a vintage opening in one video. What can you ask more for? Let us Begin! Brock's Primate, Erica's Bellsprout, G Giovanni's, I have to say it that way, Kogo's Kafifi, Poliwag, Blaine's Mankey, Sabrina's Porygon, G Machop, Pidgey, Energy, and a Blaine trainer card. Well, that energy was very appropriate for this pack. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. The first pack is a non-holographic. Next up is beautiful set, the jungle set. And these are long stem packs, not from that box. I have more of those boxes and packs. And it's just, I'm so happy to finally kind of like officially announce the store. But like I said, there are so many logistics involved. Uh, I didn't even get to like, when is the store going to be happening? Um, it's probably going to be early 2021. I, I really want to wait until the pandemic is kind of over to allow people to safely travel and, you know, congregate in the store. Because at the moment, it really is not a good time. But that being said, even if I wanted to start it sooner than later, and I do, there's too much logistics involved. So probably early 2021. If there are other maybe big creators out there, um, because I'm literally just one man. I am one person, one creator having this idea that would like other creators that would like to help me out in uh, making this happen. Please, please, please feel free to contact me. Bell Sprout Spiro Mr. Mime Holographic. Wait, okay. I was like, that that jungle logo looks a little like grayish, or at least on the right side, but uh very, very nice. Not grayish, like uh not as much heavy printed on. That is beautiful. A Mr. Mime. Uh, is there print lines on it? Yeah, there may be a few print lines on it. That's unfortunate. But at the same time, centering looks magnificent. You like centering and guessing of uh, great at Pokemon cards. Well, you're in luck. Another guess that great is coming up tomorrow. That is like the most popular series on this channel. I think uh, if you're new to the channel, new to this video, please consider subscribing and uh I post videos four days a week, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturday, and Sundays at 1 p.m. Central, 2 Eastern, 11 Pacific, and 12 for you Mountaineers out there. I think that was everybody in this area, by the way. So three cards back to gym challenge. Cinnabon, City Gym. Haha. <laughs> Nidorana. Nidorina, sorry, I'm thinking of Cinnabon now. G Machop, Pidgey, Jiggly, Ponyta. Energy, Lieutenant Surge's secret plan. It's a trainer. Like at least the Blaine trainer was an actual like gym leader trainer. This this is like one of my favorite pack arts of all time. If this doesn't make you nostalgic, I don't know what does. Maybe one of those like Tiger Electronic games from the 90s. I had the Sonic one by the way, and I still have it. All right, this is uh, Jungle Jolteon Holographic. 
is the number one hollow you want to pull from jungle so let's see what we can do i've pulled it in uh, a first edition one when i was opening up a first edition box last year and we pulled two in one box it was awesome videos on the channel goldie scrambled eggs rhyhorn cubone and a non-holographic very very off center jeez got a little haircut vial plume non-holographic vial plume so very off center which is okay because it's a non-holographic so i'll take that but next up is g himself giovanni on this pack art and uh if we can get a blaine's charizard for this opening it would be absolutely magical and proper with this big news next up is sabrina's cadabra erica's ivysaur the master ball wow i really don't remember this card too much in the set he's seen some stuff magikarp relith ghastly up to no good pikachu coughing energy giovanni's last resort so it is the trainer party right now for the rare cards uh but it's a nice card got a little hand motion there for both of them so Alrighty then so all we have pulled so far is this mr mime but i'll take it because at this point as we get into wiggly this has just been such an incredible time uh just you know for pokemon in general next year is going to be the 25th anniversary so having a shop like that is only proper at that time uh, but I'm very, very excited, and I can't wait to get everybody's input on this. And yes, I'm a very, very crazy man. But am I passionate? Absolutely. Goldine, Pikachu, Oddish, Pokeball, Eevee, Eggs, Cubone, Jolteon! But it's the non-holographic version. How about that centering? Much better than the Vile Plume. Sorry, Vile Plume, but uh, there we go. And the condition of these cards are actually very, very nice. Um, I know the Mr. Mime had a couple print lines, uh, but these, the non hollows especially this beautiful Jolteon, which I will sleeve up, is a mighty fine card to pull. Very nice. But let's go back to gym challenge. Don't know exactly what's going on. Hoping to pull. Uh, obviously, these are not weighed because we haven't been pulling. Because it just makes it that much more fun. Like, all of these are also for my personal collection. When the risk is just like with myself opening up the packs. Like, it just makes it that much more real and fun. Sabrina's for me. And hopefully for y'all as well. Charmander. Abra. Very nice card. Wow. Fiva. Needs more cowbell. Ekans. Horsey. Do Duo Energy Brock's Doug Trio. Looks like he's in the valley of like in New Zealand for Lord of the Rings. He's like, how did I get here? Because they're all pissed off. So, wow, some of these cards I really haven't seen too often, especially those non-hollow trainers. Uh, so it's really, really refreshing. Wow, that was a difficult pack. To Goodbye, PSA 10 for that pack. Alrighty then. Jungle, let's see what we can do. It's time, mighty time we got another, why do I keep saying mighty? It's time we've gotten another Jungle Hollow. Pikachu, Venonet, Pokeball, Eevee, Bellsprout, and then Vaporeon! One of the best in Eeveelution holographic cards splashing its way into our hearts. Aw. Vaporeon holographic. I love it. I love it a lot. Take it to centering. Centering is a little off from right to left. I will say that. But uh, for the most part, I don't see too much whitening or anything. So uh, is there print lines? Um, I don't see any print lines. Sorry, Mr. Mime. It's like you uh, get rid of the centering issue on Mr. Mime, and then you replace it with the print line. Did that make sense? I don't think that made sense. Anyway, Vaporeon. There's a Flareon Hollow as well, and then, of course, Jolteon. So very, very happy about that. We got more packs to go, and 
plenty of time in today's opening. So hopefully y'all have stuck around. Like I said, tomorrow is a guess that grade where I will be grading very rare Pokemon cards and then getting the results in the same video. Yeah, it's crazy. Prime Ape, but we'll be guessing the grade. That's what's fun about it. Ponyta, Abra. Wow, that's a beautiful card. He's under a tree. There's lots of Pokemon that are just sitting under trees throughout the generations. Tangula has its own salon. Psyduck. Energy. Oh, another trainer resistance gym. Stadium card. Ooh, have we not pulled one holo from the gym challenge packs? That's what I get for grabbing packs at random. Um... But let's get to jungle. This has been the saving grace set for today's opening. Starting off with a Persian. Tauros. Be free, butter free. Eevee. Pikachu. Goldeen. Venonat. Nidoran. Mankey Leg. Scrambled Eggs. ANOTHER VAPORION! What? What? A Vaporeon Holo times two. And the centering for this one is so much better. And ah, there may be a print line at the very bottom of the card down there. You can kind of see it as it reflects. Take a look at the back. Oh, that's centering and no whitening. What a beautiful, beautiful holographic card. And that takes two. Baby, so two Vaporeon holographic cards. Oh, it could have been another, like a Flareon or a Jolteon, but I won't complain, especially after those gym challenge packs. So here we go. Final two packs. Let's go, gym challenge. Let's go. I think we opened up like, what was it? Six gym challenge packs today. No hollows. So we need some last pack magic from this. Three guys, and away we go. Erica's Clefairy, Rapidash, Mr. Mime, Psyduck, Rattata, Celio, what's the dealio? Meowth, Vulpix, Staryu, Whew. Energy! Oh, and another Blaine Trainer card, but he is like one of the best trainers, so I'll take it. So. Blaine non-holographic trainer card matches. He's got a brother now. Yeah, there you go. So those were the gym challenge packs. We got the final jungle pack. Once again, thank you so much for joining me on this newly started journey of the 90s store. I think it's going to be fun. A lot of work's going to be put into it, but I hope you, uh, I hope you stick around. I hope y'all stick around. So thank y'all so much, Heart Squad, and anybody else new part of the community. Let us get some last pack magic, perhaps a Jolteon, or might as well just make it another uh, Theresa company with a Vaporeon, Butterfree, Tauros, Mankey, Jiggly, Pettis, Eggs, Eevee, Venonat, and Another no way! No way! What? What? I can't make this stuff up! The third Vaporeon! Honey, what are you doing to me? Three Vaporeon Hollows! What is going on? Let's check this one! Centering is perfect! Any print lines? No print lines! And centering is just a tad off from top to the left, but oh my gosh, how about that? Three, I gotta hold these up again. Three Vaporeon Hollows, one opening. Well, that left little to the imagination. But in any case, Heart Squad, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you want more openings, click on those videos right now. My name is Lean Heart. Stay awesome, stay positive, and as always, I will see y'all in the next video.